be looking at collision theory. Collision theory allows us to predict how to make reactions faster or slower. In the industry this is important as reactions need to go quick enough that they are economically viable but not so quickly that they are dangerous. Reactions occur when reactants collide with su sufficient energy to react. So to make the rate of reaction different you need to either change the frequency of the collisions or change the energy of the collisions or do both. There are four ways we can do this. The first way we can do this is to change the concentration. A low concentration of reactants is where you do not have many particles for the space that you're given. This means that the number of collisions will be low. A higher concentration is where we have more particles in that same space. This means that these reactants are more likely to collide than the low concentration. If you have a higher collision frequency, then your chances of them colliding with the right amount of energy are also increased. The second way we can increase or decrease the rate of reaction is to change the particle size. Large particles have a small surface area. If you look at this in terms of the black lines here, particles can only collide where there are black lines. Here we have a box with the, the four lines around here. When we make the particles smaller, we end up with a larger surface area as there are more places where collisions can occur. By making the particle size smaller, then the frequency of collisions increases and thus the rate of reaction increases too. For temperature, this allows us to change two things. At low temperature, the reactants don't move very quickly. This means that when they collide, the energy that they collide with each other is quite low. At high temperature, the reactions move much more quickly. This means they collide more frequently and when they do collide, they collide with higher energy. This means that we increase the rate of reaction using both of the increasing collision frequency and increasing energy. Finally, we can add a catalyst. If you have a reaction that we're following the reaction progress of, we have energy of the reactants and then energy of the products. The energy required to get over this hill here is the sufficient energy that we need for the reaction to take place. A catalyst allows you to lower this energy. This means that we don't need to collide with as much energy to be able to reach the product state. This picture here shows how catalysts can work. Catalysts can be a surface on which reactions can take place. So one reactant molecule can be held in place whilst another can come in and can collide with it more easily. So in summary, how can we increase reaction rate? To increase reaction rate, you can increase concentration. You can decrease particle size. You can increase temperature or add a catalyst. To decrease the rate, you should decrease the concentration. You should increase the particle size. and decrease the temperature. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Ken for regular updates on new videos. Bye for now.